Well, here we are. Bamboo Lab 3D printers, and specifically the company itself, that's all anybody's talking about right now. Unfortunately, this time it's not good. You may or may not know, but instead of an awesome new 3D printer, which may or may not be coming soon, Bamboo Lab is releasing a new firmware in January 2025. The terms of service that go along with it have caused more than a few questions. I've been reading and watching way too much about this, and I've seen some pretty horrible stuff said, some rants, some sort of rants, and even some people saying it's not a big deal. So I did what I do, regardless of whether or not I had this channel, and I tried to figure it out. Since I do have this channel, I wanted to hopefully help all of you understand it as well. On January 16, 2025, Bamboo Lab put out a blog post about their upcoming firmware update, and I'll have links to everything in the description so you can read all of this for yourself. The post started like this. As part of our ongoing commitment to enhance the overall security of our products, we are introducing an authorization and authentication protection mechanism for the connection and control of Bamboo Lab 3D printers. This step is a significant security enhancement to ensure only authorized access and operations are permitted. This change is mitigating any risk of remote hacks or printer exposure issues that have happened in the past and also lower the risk of abnormal traffic or attacks. Well, when you combine that statement along with their previous statement that they've had numerous DDoS or direct denial of service attacks along with over 30 million unauthorized networking requests every single day, well, Okay, I would have to say I hope you're constantly enhancing security measures. The problem with most people, though, is that it's all very sudden and feels very heavy-handed. Here's the basics. Number one, they're going to introduce a new go-between software service called Bamboo Connect that is going to handle authorization for all critical functions, you know, like temperature control so a hacker can't burn your house down, remote camera viewing, installing firmware upgrades, printing what you want instead of what someone else is going to do online, controls your fans, and a lot more. And yeah, I have to say, I kind of want that security. And let's be honest, two-factor authentication, it's something we probably all deal with every day, which is basically what this kind of seems like. It's just that this is my printer. Shouldn't I get a say in this? And next, number two, all third-party software and hardware are going to have to go through this service or cease to function. And once again, two-factor authentication. But again, I'm the one that put upgrades on my machine. Can Bamboo really think that they can allow all of this for a couple of years and then immediately pull the plug? And I want my Orca slicer, and that may not be allowed. If you have a Panda Touch from Big Tree Tech, you know, like the one I reviewed last summer and really kind of liked it, well, it may actually be going away. And that just brings up a host of other questions. What about my third-party plates? You know, will that cause my printer to stop functioning? What about nozzles like the Revo? Even worse, what about third-party filaments? If it's not authorized by a bamboo, will I have to throw it away? And what about all my 3D prints? If it didn't come from Maker World, will it actually work? There's even creators saying all of this is moving toward having to pay a subscription fee just to keep it working. So we can see why so many people are upset, right? And I'm kind of getting a little heated about this just talking about it, but fortunately, Bamboo Lab themselves actually responded. Monday morning, January 20th, 2025. Bamboo Lab put out a new blog post. And again, you can check out that blog. I'll put the link in the description and you can look over it yourself. But the gist of that blog post is this. That new firmware that's coming out causing all of this concern and trepidation, well, it's in beta, meaning they don't have it all figured out. Also, not everyone is going to get this beta version and you don't have to install it. According to their blog post, you can continue with your current firmware without any repercussions or problems, at least for now. Does that make it all better? No way. Beta versions are just one step away from the real version, but maybe things can change before the real one gets to us. Maybe. And what about all those questions I had before? Well, according to this latest blog post, 
none of that's going to happen. Well, except for that two-factor authorization called Bamboo Connect. Yeah, that's happening. Also, according to the Post, they are actively working with Orca Slicer to make it work seamlessly. <laughs> yes. The problem with things like Panda Touch, well, that's a bit trickier. Apparently, Bamboo talked to Big Tree Tech before they ever put out their Panda Touch and said their software was inherently flawed and allowed for cyber attacks. I even mentioned this in my review that their web page and the manual both comment that future Bamboo updates could cause it to cease functioning altogether. I guess we'll just have to wait and see how all that gets handled. And remember I mentioned this is still just a beta version of the firmware that's coming out. Maybe changes will happen. Well, according to this blog post, they've actually already made a few changes. I think these were probably specifically due to a number of the 3D print farms that they've heard from. What they've done is they've now implemented a more robust LAN mode, and that's the mode for printing over your own Wi-Fi service at home instead of going through the cloud. And while LAN mode will require Bamboo Connect to get you started, you'll basically authorize your setup and be done. And they say you won't even need internet or a user account to do that authorization. Now next, they're implementing a developer mode, and this one is a big deal. Once you go through the authorization setup, developer mode will then give you control of everything. And not just using your printer, you're now in charge of your network security as well. And what that means is you'll be in charge of your own customer support. Since at that point, Bamboo Lab says they cannot and will not provide help. And I believe this only pertains to connectivity issues, networking, and not the hardware, but that remains to be seen. I hope this helps you kind of get a handle on all of this. I know when I first heard about it, kind of felt like I was going to lose my 3D printers. And don't forget, this all just happened recently. So the chances that things are going to change, well, those are pretty good. But I'm hopefully optimistic things are going to work out for all of us. In the meantime, as the good book says, let not your heart be troubled. We're going to make it through all of this no matter what, and in the meantime, let's have fun as we continue to learn, create, and amaze.